There are so many wonderful breweries around West Michigan, and we are on a quest to find the best. Our team's so excited to kick off our Battle of the Brews, giving you, the viewer, the opportunity to weigh in on your favorite. Today, we are starting with Coopersville Brewing Company, smack dab in the middle of everywhere. Welcome to co-owner Jeremy Grossenbacher to tell us all about what they do. Jeremy, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. I think. Uh... The first thing I want to talk about was just thank you for inviting us to be part of the first annual Battle of the Brews. Our intention is obviously to win it. We brought <laughs> some Absolutely. treats here today. I think we're not above, like, you know. Yeah. Uh, we'll hand it out to some of the staff around here, too, maybe get some votes there. But I think the biggest thing, and I remember talking to the guys that put it on um, and came to us the first time to put this on, was sure. that uh, the interesting thing about the craft beer industry, especially in West Michigan, I've been in a few different industries, is the camaraderie amongst the breweries. We're allowed to compete with each other, compete for customers and sales, but yet at the end of the day, we turn around, we collaborate with each other on a lot of stuff, uh, help each other through a lot of things and root for each other. So uh, th these are always fun um, sure. to do, just to, uh, to be able to compete with each other and have some fun with it, um, but yet we're still working towards building up the craft beer industry in, in West Michigan. And, uh, I think our country could take a step or two from that, you know, I, uh, a little I collaborative, uh, you know, competition, but yet still working towards a bigger goal. So. Absolutely. I mean, just making, you know, living up to our beer city. Exactly. You know, we just won it for the third time. Yeah. I know. I know. For good reason. So, Absolutely. So tell us about what you do, what you love, and what people can experience when they come visit you. Uh, we take a lot of pride in our product, and we spend a lot of time um, having a diverse tap list. So there's a little bit of something for everybody. Um, we've got a lot of, uh, you know, uh, IPAs, dark beers, light beers, but then we just uh, put out what we believe is a, a really good first version of hop water, a okay. completely NA sparkling water product, utilizing hops as some of the backbone to the flavor. Um, we, we have our own cold brew in-house. Uh, we've got ciders and white wine and uh, red wine. And then we have an in-house kitchen called One-Eyed Pete's. Uh, we own and operate both of them, but uh, we want to show off some of our product today. Sure. Um, with you guys and bring in some cupcakes we just put out. Um, it looks amazing. I it, can't even. <laughs> it actually uses two, two different of our beers that we make in-house. So it's filled with a Mutella ganache, which is a chocolate hazelnut stout that we do, and topped with a vanilla buttercream frosting that's infused with our ties of room together, which is a coffee chocolate pale porter. So Okay, and that's the one you brought here? Yeah, the ties okay. of room together. Okay. Yep. Love that. Yeah. Um, and, and barbecue really centric for the food as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. yeah, it's barbecue centric, but uh, we like to play around with a lot of stuff. We've got some, some crazy hot dogs on specials right now. Um, we do a lot of smash burgers, our wings. We sell a bunch of those, and we have birra. So it's not just barbecue. We, we kind of have a little bit of everything. I love that. I love that. And you said you spent some time in Chicago, and you kind of brought a little bit of the city to the country as well. Talk about kind of the dichotomy there. Uh, I was born and raised in Coopersville for the first 22 years of my life, right? So uh, I have roots there. Uh, there's a lot of agriculture there. Um, and then when I moved to Chicago, it was like food became this thing that I didn't even know existed, and it became my passion. It wasn't ever what I did professionally, but it was my passion. Uh, but then once I moved back and uh, kind of got the opportunity to do this, I wanted to kind of take the farm to table and food stuff that, you know, I, I fell in love with in Chicago and apply that. So in our beer, we always use one batch of uh, local grain that is grown in Ravana, malted by a local monster in Zealand, and then brewed by us. And then the spent grains go back into a, a hobby farmer right in our area. So it's kind of that whole process. And taking the passion for what we have for, for beer and food and then um, kind of enhancing our area and uh, you know the, the wonderful agricultural riches that are in, uh, in the Coopersville and surrounding area. I love that. Um, we try to do that as best we can. All right, and quickly, you guys have an event coming up too. Yeah, we're really excited about that. One of the reasons why we wanted to come on here today, uh, we're working with Lori's Voice, uh, which I actually graduated with Lori's daughter. Okay. Uh, I believe Fox 17 has an executive on their board as well. Yeah. Huh. Um, we're doing a fundraiser for them on Saturday, a silent auction, um, but we're also gonna have like a little party in our uh, parking lot. We'll be serving beer out there for the first time. One Eye Pete's will have a buffet set up, bounce houses, Slime kits, face painting, live music, you know, the whole nine yards. Coopersville's got a summer fest uh, and a really big car show uh, yeah. that day. Yep. So we wanted to add an event to kind of complement that in our community. Love that. Mm -hmm. Love that so much. Jeremy, thank you so much for being there. You want to learn more about Coopersville, go to coopersvillebrewing.com. You want to vote, scan that QR code right there on vote. your screen. 
And we've got more the Battle trophy. of the Brews coming up on the Fox 17 Morning Mix. You can always head to morningmix.com as well for to vote. We'll be back.